हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज बाला साहेब खळेकर आय एम द फाउंडर अँड सीईओ ऑफ द इन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ टूल इंजिनिअरिंग आय हॅव बीन रिसिव्हिंग सो मेनी मेसेजेस फ्रॉम माय वेबिनार पार्टिसिपंट्स रिगार्डिंग द पीपीटीज ऑफ वेबिनार बट आय थॉट दॅट शेअरिंग द पीपीटीज ऑन्ट हेल्प सो आय डिसायडेड टू मेक दिस अवेलेबल ऑन युट्यूब सो दॅट मिलियन्स ऑफ स्टुडंट्स कॅन सी दिस वॉच दिस अँड लर्न फ्रॉम दिस so in this video i am going to explain you all about design what are the different types of designs what are the design parameters and performance measures of a design engineer and what are the fundamentals of tool design so this is going to be a long video watch this whenever you have time and subscribe our channel all right so enjoy the learning and i will meet you at the outro thank you good evening friends welcome to this session वेलकम आदित्य आनंद भूषण धीरज फराज गिरी जय रमन मनीष थैंक यू थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग दिस सेशन एंड माय नेम इज बाला साहेब खळेकर आय एम फ्रॉम द इन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ टूल इंजिनिअरिंग आय विल ब्रीफ यू अबाउट माय सेल्फ एंड प्लीज टाइप इन द चॅट बॉक्स विच सिटी यू आर फ्रॉम आय कॅन सी हिअर मेनी कॅन्डिडेट जॉइनिंग uh manish is saying is from delhi welcome manish pranit yes pranit is from nagpur faraz is from pune nashik rajkot wow nice friends i started my career in 1991 after completion of my engineering i joined hindustan aeronautics limited in nashik then in 1993 i joined kirloskar oil engines i worked in tool design department for 5 years then i joined mahindra and mahindra r&d i was in mumbai i was working in chassis and axle aggregate and uh, i worked for bolero and uh, scorpio project so i have experience of product design and tool design in 2001 we started our institute that is institution of tool engineering so far 6000 students they have completed their courses and around 400 students they have their own businesses in pune and uh, many parts of the country so this is a huge family this is all about me uh i would like to know from you are you a design engineer or you want to start your career as a design engineer can you type in the chat box so i would like to see your comments jairaman is saying he is from chennai welcome jairam viraj is from mumbai so you can mark to all panelists and attendees as well pranoy saying want to start career thank you girish is in tool design thank you girish so friends it is going to be a 90 minute webinar uh, we will have question answer session at the end uh, i am going to uh, there will there will be so many things we are going to learn about tool designing and at the end i am going to show you some of our courses what we are offering uh so i would like to see your uh, chat active so that it will be an interactive session and uh, this will keep me motivating so let us start our uh, part so i'll share my screen yeah thank you dharmesh thank you pranit so our today's topic is fundamentals of tool design and why this topic is important that we have to understand this is a topic which creates your foundation as a product design engineer means i'll tell you about my experience when i joined mahindra and mahindra in r&d i was having backup of tool design because i worked in kirloskar as a design engineer as a tool design engineer so as a product design engineer because that is level 1 we are going to understand all these types of designs also so product design is number 1 why because there you design the product as per your requirement because tool design second second thing now tool design there are some limitations but if you know tool design you can design a product in a better way to become a good product design engineer we must know what are the limitations of the tool how the manufacturing process is selected how to select the material so all these things we are going to learn in this today's session so let us start from very basic part that is what is design because there are so many friends they are new in this area they want to start their career as a design engineer so it's a mix friends there are some people i think they may be working in design department for many years and some of you would like to start your career as a design engineer so i am considering both of you and definitely there will be a knowledge gaining session for all of you 
So let us understand what is design. So design is a process. Any design, it starts from the concept. So for example, you have to design a car. So how it starts? It starts from the inputs. Means what inputs require? You require what is the load condition, means how many seater car. Then you require the input like which are the road conditions. Then you require the inputs like the atmospheric conditions. Then you require the uh, other things like means what are, what are the expectations of the customer. So all these things when inputs are there, then what we do, we start the conceptual design. So initially a concept is built. Then we discuss with all other department people like maybe marketing, maybe service, maybe production, maybe QA. And then there is a team that is cross-functional team. And when you design, that means your design is a preliminary stage. You consult all these people, they give you the feedback and then you again modify the design. After that, you build a prototype. If the prototype is okay, then we are going for the finalization of the design. And then what we do, we start generating the drawing. That will be a final drawing. So once the drawing is released for production, we design dyes, molds, fixtures, gauges, all these things we design, right? So here is the part of tool design. Means where we work as a tool design engineer, that also we are going to study. Then what we do, we produce a component from the dyes and molds. Then the components are assembled, product is made on the assembly line then product is sold in the market. Now customer is using that. Again, he is giving some feedback and then again, we are redesigning the product. So design is a continuous process. Any design, there is always a scope for improvement. No design is perfect. Means, for example, if I'm designing, I will give more weightage to say, for example, safety. If say Pranav is designing, he will give more weightage to look. If Sarthak is designing, he will give more weightage to the ease of assembly. Somebody will give more weightage to ease of manufacturing. Some will give more weightage to the comfort. Some will give more weightage to cost. There are so many factors that also we are going to study in this session. So if I design something, you can say something that this can be improved. Yes, it is always there. So it's a continuous improvement process. So how to design the product? And what are the constraints? That also we are going to understand. So let us first understand 80% of the quality of any product is built in the design stage itself. Friends, this is very important. Means any product, any product you consider, 80% of the quality of that product is built in the design stage itself. Means design engineer is responsible for the product. So design engineer has to shoulder more responsibilities compared to other departments, isn't it? And 20% quality is built in the other stages like maybe inspection, maybe assembly, maybe handling, other things, okay? So since you have more responsibility as a design engineer, growth is also very high as a design engineer, right? Then is the design perfect? No design is perfect. Why? because there are so many aspects. Let us understand some of the aspects. So one aspect is compact design means now let us understand the car design nowadays. So a lot of traffic is there, parking problems are there. So what we, what we think the turning radius should be less, there should be a very small size, means considering all this comfort and all these things. And when you open the bonnet, you see there are so many things which are very beautifully design right so one is compact design ease of assembly ease of assembly is one more thing how can assembly be done by a single person means if you are a production engineer you will always think that how i can reduce the manpower so he will give that input to the design engineer how we can reduce the manpower and how we can go for ease of assembly right then ease of manufacturing this is a very important part aspect. See, friends, we are understanding the aspects also. I mean, when you are designing the product, when you are designing the tool, these are the some of the parameters we have to understand. So ease of manufacturing, maybe for example, how I can simplify the shape of the product so that it will be very easy to manufacture. Then mistake proofing, this is also called as a fail proofing or full proofing. Okay. 
so what is the concept mistake proofing means what there are so many similar components so sometimes what happens wrong part may get selected in that particular place so it should not happen so let us take example of a say six cylinder engine block if you understand the crankcase area inside part like like crankcase number one two three four five six so crankcase number one and six profile will be different inside part okay we are talking about the inside profile but crankcase number two three four five they will be very similar so these cavities are formed by the core that is sand core and when you are producing the part that time sometimes they, it may happen that instead of core number two somebody will fit core number four it should not happen that is mistake proofing right so other things are their life how we can ensure the life of the product then handling comfort ergonomics ergonomics is a branch of engineering which deals with human comfort so these are various aspects how we can include all this point when you are designing the product so we understood that it's a compromise means all things cannot be satisfied to the 100 percent but definitely you can have compromise so let us understand what are the different types of design so the first and very important design is product design so what is product product means any component which is manufactured in a mass scale is called as a product so car is a product tv is a product okay so if we consider raw raw thing means maybe a light is a product and how the design of this particular car uh, that uh, process is there so initially you will go for the styling and processing so you will go for the packaging these are the various stages then you will go for the prototype building then testing all these things will be there next point is tool now what is tool tool means any component or equipment which is used for manufacturing of other components is called as a tool so this is a very vast area tool may be a cutter tool may be a die tool may be a mold tool may be a fixture tool may be a gauge so many things so it's a very vast area so we have to understand how to design the tool and tool means basically we are talking about dies and mold friends tool cutter is also there but that is not our today's topic dies and mold designing that we are going to understand so what are the different types of designs then apart from tool okay let us understand the tool design types these are the various tools like mold now here basic concept is there what is die and what is mold it is very similar right so die press tool die we say press tool die then forging die then die casting die but plastic mold rubber mold sand mold right so even though die and mold are similar concept but the terminology is also very important if you say plastic die means people will say okay you are not from plastic mold field so let us understand other types of dies okay this is, you can say a press tool die at the right side then forging die at the left side uh, friends question and answer i will uh, we will have at the in, in the end don't worry so cutter designing is also a tool and this is a fixture designing now fixture designing fixture means a tool which is used for holding and location of the component during various operations means fixture there are again it's a vast topic fixture machining fixture if we consider machining fixture there are various types of machining fixtures which are those milling fixture drilling fixture rimming fixture turning fixture like that then another area is biw feature fixture biw means body in white okay some of you may be may not be knowing biw biw means body parts before painting of a car whatever structure is there that is called as a biw so that fixture used for assembling the parts during welding that is biw fixture then welding fixture is there painting fixture is there inspection fixture is there targeting fixture is there averaging fixture is there sighting fixture is there. so many fixture types are there again it's a vast subject friends but let us understand first the various terminologies and some basic concept related to dies and mold designing then other types of designs are like cutter designing 
machine design spm spm means special purpose machine okay then piping designing is there like middle east uh, countries they are having many companies that are doing this activity or oil and natural gas in india or reliance they are in piping design or uday india limited it's a huge company they are in piping design then structural design structural design again it's a vast area can you give me any one example where structural design is required any product name yes friends any product name you can tell me uh, what is structural design any example can you give me yes shubham sarthak ajay manish is saying engine aerospace nice trust very nice uh, sanal is saying trust very nice uh, let us understand the components where structural design is required like boiler okay boiler then a chassis chassis is the best example of structural design or furnace furnace design is a structural design then another topic or design is robotics design is there nowadays right uh, then other designs are now coming nowadays uh, robotics is there then automation is there in our mechanical engineering field but friends mainly two designs are very important one is product design and tool design and my suggestion to you that start with tool design directly don't jump into the product design because what i have seen in many companies i uh, work in multinational companies also and what i found when you are directly joining the design department like r and d now if the r and d engineer is not having the process knowledge then there are so many problems because what happens now the supplier will come he will say okay this is not possible so you change the design now if i am a product design engineer means i am in working in r and d and if i don't know the process part then may i have to agree with him right then that person that supplier if he understand that you don't know this knowledge you don't have this knowledge then what he will do he will try to put three more things and he will that, that suggest you something which is required for him and not for the product so this happens many times so we should be very confident about this part so this is my suggestion to you okay so which are the various design companies there are so many companies oem companies like tata motors kirloskar mahindra kalyani there are so many companies now let us understand what are the performance measures of a design engineer friends now if you are already working in design department how to improve your performance these are some of the points they are very important first is the first time right design whatever you do it should be first time right so this is required when this is required this is required when you join a company and after one year there when there is one system that is called as a appraisal system and during appraisal system these are the key points which are that means considered so first time right design means your design should be perfect there should not be any mistake but as a human being it's a possibility that i may go wrong somewhere so how to reduce this act that means problems you can go for proper checking so you can prepare the checklist right you can go for you can uh, go to your boss and ask him to uh, check your design there are so many things you can do second thing is commitment or delivery means if your boss is asking when you are going to complete this project and if you say friday i am giving you friday you have to give the project delivery is very important then cost reduction always think about the company means how you can reduce the cost of the product friends nowadays this is a drive in the companies cost reduction it's a value engineering value engineering means you reduce the cost of the product keeping the same quality or you improve the quality by keeping the same cost that is value engineering so always think about this and pass on this benefit to the customer fourth point is implementation of creative ideas as a design engineer your ideas should be creative something new okay next point is adherence to company national and international standards so if you are working in a particular company observe the company standards what they are following right from basic dimensioning style arrow size font type everything these are very basic things but it starts from that then coordination how you are good as far as team is concerned so this point is also considered then tpm means total productive maintenance means this is again a very basic thing that is 1s 2s all these things we know this 
so friends uh, let me tell about myself means what is my experience and what we are doing i will i will take 2 minutes time so the institution of tool engineering we started this activity in 2001 it is in pune and uh, more than 6000 students they have completed our courses apart from that 400 students they have their businesses they are now entrepreneurs we are providing corporate training we have some job guaranteed courses also we provide industrial training also like our clients are tata motors mahindra and mahindra kirloskar then industrial projects are also we are conducting this is our premises in pune these are the various services we are providing we are we are in the dye designing uh, dye manufacturing then uh, uh, doing all these design activities and manufacturing these are some of our major clients like uh, tata technologies neko jaiswal mahindra and mahindra uh, north mc and uh, these are some of the industrial visits uh, regularly we are arranging visits are very important that we are doing these are some of our placements we are also providing uh, placements so my mission is to help 1 lakh engineers to achieve their dream career as a design engineer or to start their businesses because if you want to grow if you want to start your business maybe after some time maybe 4 5 years of time i will be very happy to help you because my intention is that once you have a proper knowledge you can start your own things because now the world is changing jobs security is not there so you should have some strong foundation and even though some situations tough situations will be there it will not shake you so how to build this strong foundation that we have to understand okay so let us start our main core area so friends are you excited please type in the chat box are you excited to learn many things because we are going to start now main core area thank you manish thank you vishal thank you sarthak thank you shubham thank you bhushan so today's topic is fundamentals of tool design and there are so many points friends i will try to cover all the things and some of the points we will uh, we'll study in detail so the first thing first we'll understand i would like to show you one component for example so i'll stop my screen friend this is one component okay so this is a component of r15 vehicle and you have to design a die or tool for this component i'll give you one more example this is one component this is the drawing you have received from the customer and you have to design the tool means die or mold and how to do the designing what are the various parameters that is our today's topic so we'll understand now see there are many aspects we are going to understand so this is a component so how to manufacture this component so as a tool design engineer what you must know you must know the basic process understanding means when you see any component you must visualize how this component is manufactured so can you tell me can you type in the chat box how this component is manufactured what is the manufacturing process for this i would like to see your answers yes pandana is saying casting absolutely correct tushar is saying casting perfect all right i will show you one more component this is the component you have to manufacture can you please tell me how this component is manufactured and what is the process yeah gravity die casting very nice that is a perfect answer manish is saying extrusion tubing okay dharmesh is saying tubing sarthak is saying rubber molding absolutely correct sarthak so friend this is one requirement means when you see any product you must know how this component is manufactured so to become a good tool design engineer what is the first skill required you must have good process knowledge then what else you require you must have good knowledge of materials means now we are seeing the components so the component material one was again i will show you so this is a component this is a component of your favorite bike some of you like this bike okay so this component is manufactured by which process can you tell me you can see the design yes pranav is saying rubber molding okay sudham is saying plastic absolutely correct so it's a plastic component 
So let us understand friends, if you have to design a car, there are components mainly produced by basic shaping processes and which are those basic shaping processes? One is casting, in casting there are two types, one is die casting and another is sand casting. Then third process is forging, then another process is plastic molding, one more process is rubber molding and one more process is pestle, right? So these are some of the important processes and all these processes requires dies and mold, isn't it? So this is the our area, this is our area. We have to understand how to design the tool and we are understanding the common points because this is a very vast subject and some of the points may be applicable for casting, may not be applicable for plastic molding, but we will cover the common points mainly. All right, guys, I hope you learned a lot from this video. This was the first part and two more parts we will be uploading. So subscribe our YouTube channel and stay connected. So let me tell you why I'm doing this activity. I'm on a mission to help 1 lakh engineers to achieve their dream career as a design engineer. I conduct free webinars every week and the link of that webinar is given in our WhatsApp group. So below in the description box, the WhatsApp group link is given. Join our WhatsApp group and stay connected with us and subscribe our YouTube channel and uh, all the best to you. Thank you.